to forgive and even to forget is very important for anybody who is walking a spiritual path in any tradition. Now through life, many events happen and myself, many events have happened which specifics aren't so important, but you know, people come into your life and they may cheat you, betray, um, may even criticize you or do really, really um, bad things that can cause a lot of hurt. And when these situations happen, the emotions associated, you know, the sadness, uh, the upset, the, even the anger and the frustration, they can create in situations which really stay with us for a long time. And we remember them and replay them time and time and time again. Now, as we move forward, we carry all these previous situations and events and we hold grudges against people. Uh, it's very difficult to actually let go of situations. But when we're walking forward with an aspiration to elevate our awareness or, or raise an elevation, these situations can really, really keep us down. They can really keep us bound. And so what's very important is that even more than just forgiving, actually forgetting them and just taking them as an experience that's happened and leaving them behind is incredibly valuable. Because otherwise, as we move through life, we're carrying a huge weight and a huge burden, which not just affects us, but even sometimes sharing that with others and, and replaying it on them as well can also have a, a negative effect on them. Now, in this um, path which we, we're following here, the path of liberation at the Mohanji Center of Benevolence, um, guided by Mohanji, there also comes a bit of a deeper understanding to these experiences. And there can also be some wisdom that comes as a result of any of these situations and experiences that may have happened, such as being cheated. Um, for example, me, um, I had a, quite some incident in business where I, I was cheated quite badly. Um, also relationships, again, the details is not so important. But one thing which um, I was helped to realize is that those situations can also become a real blessing in disguise. Because up until that point, I had a completely different view of that person or a completely different understanding of that situation than what the truth was, than reality. Now, through that experience, I was able to understand actually who that person was, where I thought they might have been kind, understanding, compassionate. Actually, that proved not to be the case. So up until that point, in a way, I'd been living a bit of an illusion or a bit of a lie in that relationship. So these actions or these events can actually also help really put light on what that relationship is, what individuals are and what the situation is in reality, which is incredibly useful, actually, because then we can learn from that so that things don't happen like that again in the future. Also, another aspect which I thought was really in interesting to consider is we have an understanding when we follow a spiritual path that we are a continuation actually from, from one life to another. And so many situations that happen and unfold in our life that destiny brings might not be a result of our actions immediately. It could be of something before which we've got no sight of. And perhaps we've done something before which is being corrected at that time too. So the sum of this is really that we, we don't really know why things happen to us but a situation comes, an event happens, and if we can just let it go, if we can just move through it, forgive and forget, then the residue of that event doesn't stick with us, which means we're not weighted down so much, and it means we can be more free to experience life tomorrow with a much more fresh outlook, something that's not tainted um, with the color of the past. We don't carry that hangover. So forgiving and forgetting actually is, is something of a, of a first step because it helps us shed a lot of weight. And also it brings us to a point of acceptance that, okay, these events happened to me in my life. Um, I might not have liked it. It might not have been pleasant, but it happened regardless. It's not happening anymore and I'm moving forward. Something very, very powerful actually. Um, there's also many uh, meditations and processes which um, can help as well for people where there's some uh, situations that are really stuck. Um, one that's offered free to everyone that comes at the center is um, Power of Purity. Uh, it's a beautiful meditation where you're sort of blessing everybody that's come into your life and, and thanking them for the experience. So that releases a lot. Um, I'll put the link in the description. 
and also more of a, a guided council program, which uh, we run too. So I hope you like this uh, video. Um, the idea really is to give some awareness uh, so that it can empower you in your life practically. Um, this is practical spirituality, essentially, so that life becomes much more easy, more light, more enjoyable, more fresh and, uh, and a better feeling. And we can definitely forgive and, and forget those situations that have happened to us. And most importantly, uh, forgive ourselves as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching. My name is Chris and I'll be sharing some more videos like this in the future.